シンプルな感じですね。えー、well, hi, how are you?、Uh, sorry for the delay. I was checking out something with my computer.、Uh, well, try to interact with your ball.、Uh, I will explain、uh, somehow how <coughs> here、uh, the company that I work、uh, we used to, well,、uh, some of, of my partners、uh, we are from Argentina and we. Work with Drupal. Drupal, if you don't know, it's a CMS or framework、uh, right in PHP.、Uh, I love with working with Triton and Python, but、uh, my partners、uh, started、uh, working with Drupal years ago and they are okay, so、uh, I have to integrate with them in some cases.、Um, so that's the idea. <coughs> Uh, first of all, well, I want to tell you who I am.、Uh, Some of <laughs> the question that Cedric asked me two days ago was, was why my name was Lucio Rossi or Luciano or Lucio or whatever. I said、um, that was, was one of them, them was Lucio Rossi because I love to paint and create. A、canvas, on, and, and, and that's what the idea of Lucio Rossi,、uh, something that I work. Luciano Rossi、uh, is my real name.、Uh, I love to be a software developer, of course, a free software developer, Libre.、Uh, you can find me some of my stories there over at Drupal.org, GitHub.com, or Bitbucket, or, well, I don't know if I have some other、uh, profiles or other sites. <clears throat>、uh, yes, of course, something to, to talk about、uh, the cooperative where I work,、uh, the company、uh, there in Argentina. We are cooperative, we are 16, something like that, 16 partners.、Uh, we work together.、Uh, I need, well, it's a.、Uh, Um, you know, it's a juego.、Uh, uh, it's a game, yes, thank you. It's a game uh, that uh, the guys need to work together to combine and create a, a pile. Well, it's funny that they have the pines in the basket. So, well,、uh, there I link a video, s h i c o c o m c o p Codigos Cooperativos. Uh, it's a video that talks about、uh, it's in YouTube and it's translated in several languages. So、uh, I think it's translated to Catalan also. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because uh, one of, my, of the partners of the cooperative、uh, he's from here, from Barcelona. So well,、uh, he translated.、Um, <coughs> and talks about the free software. And cooperative, well, and the world cooperative,、uh, because I, we thought that、uh, they work together in several ways. Well,、uh, just talk,、uh, I'm going to be fast over this, this stuff.、Uh, the, from, I'm from Argentina, so we need to localize、uh, a lot of Houston to.、Uh, Customize Triton to work there in, in our country. <coughs> the, well,、uh, you know, the、um, invoice, electronic invoice to work with the entity there in Argentina.、Uh, the timber guys、uh, create a lot of、uh, modules, voucher R, check R, retention R, well, or a lot of、uh, other c o m p a n y of Argentina create the bank car.、Uh, Uh, brings all the data of the banks of Argentina,、uh, well, and other reports that the, we need to、uh, send to the entity of the Argentina of the, to work with them. <clears throat> well, just to talk something of Drupal,、uh, I, I told you, Drupal, well, you, you can go to the page, drupal.org. 
GitHub PHP, that's TMS. Uh, right now, the official version is 8.4.2, I think so. Um, in the demo that I'm going to show you to, to you do, it's I'm working on uh, Drupal 7 uh, because uh, Drupal 8 released one year ago and we're still working with the 7. Uh, I think right now we're going to uh, start in doing some projects with the 8. <coughs> it's a framework. Uh, it has a lot of APIs and has a lot of modules. Uh, it's, uh, it's libre. It's uh, free. It's freedom as, as freedom. Uh, it's GPL and something that I love. Uh, of, uh, in I think it's it's good. Uh, Drupal and Triton. Uh, it's the it's, um, the the community of the of, of the software. Uh, I think that uh, some software. It's, uh, it, it doesn't have any community. Uh, it's uh, finished uh, in some way of life. It's going to finish or, or, or close it. So Drupal, I think it has a lot of community, like in Triton or here. Or here. <clears throat> well, why we do the interaction? Well, uh, some examples that I'm going to show you is uh, well the e-commerce. Uh, we uh, create a site of e-commerce. There is the uh, meva.org.r. <clears throat> and another thing was uh, to bring data from Triton to Drupal. Uh, Drupal. The idea was not just bring the data, uh, was to uh, show the data in Drupal like a Drupal way, uh, because well, I will show you there. <clears throat> how we did it, or how we, we did it, was well uh, from Triton we create a web service uh, in Flux Triton, in REST web service, and in Drupal well we use some of modules. One of them was the client, client connection to create the client connection to Titan, and then the remote entity. Uh, you in, in Drupal, you have the content types and you have the entities. Well, the idea was to use of them of uh, another entity, so we use the model remote entity, so we can uh, set the, which fields to show and how to show it in Drupal way. Uh, well, this is uh, some example that uh, it's a call to the to the Triton class uh, from the core command line. If you can see, uh, I will show it there in the command line later. But the idea was well, it has a token authentication, and if you ask for the invoices of your customer. Yeah, it's, uh, it would be the VAT. This number is something that uh, the client number, um, nothing more than that. And it's, uh, um, and it asks you for the invoices. So it shows you all this data of the invoice. Uh, the currency, the well, HRF, the ID of the invoice, the invoice date, the well, invoice type is something uh, our customization, the invoice number, uh, the amount, if the state of the invoice, the, well, the VAT returns the VAT, so, and the amount, but uh, using the currency, uh, the, you know, the, the, the pesos or USD or euro. So uh, when I show to in the interface, it's also there. <coughs> so. Uh, let me see, let me see, where, wait a second. Ah, pero quiero mi, como salgo de acá. Oh, oh, oh. La pantalla de hielo es esta. Well, 
you can well here is the the app for the invoices I think so yes and you can uh, one of the things was uh, here I, I it brings all the the invoices of that customer and you can you have a lot of them um, and they are in the new part we also want the report of the invoice so I create uh, one of the calls or one of the call service uh, you can call it like uh, yeah put it like that and then you see everything can fail well, of course it's not boring So it's really bring you the all the reports uh, base 64. So you can download it and put a lot of data and give you of course the invoice ID also and the report name and the report extension. Uh, well, it's bring you is state, it's paid or confirm or whatever. So here at Drupal, I want to show you Hello. Bien. good. Uh, well, this is my Drupal site. It's a, of course, it's a demo Drupal site, so it doesn't have any much. Just the models that I installed, the, the client and the entity remote, and the client's Triton uh, module. So, as you can see, uh, here I'm uh, showing to you inside the Drupal the Triton invoices that it was show you uh, as the JSON uh, asking to the plus Python. <clears throat> I, you can add, well, we add some filters, so uh, we can filter by, by date. Uh, for example, I think, yes, uh, here are invoices uh, from 2015. If I give, I said to them, I want from January. Uh, all just bring me this one, and this category is uh, just uh, because what's what's the idea? This is the one that the if you have uh, a site that. Uh, you can show it like, I, I don't know, you have Movistar, something like that. So you are a customer and you have a page where you can see your invoices over there. But uh, you can, with the, this customer, can have all the products that uh, buy to that company. But only uh, you want to see the invoices that are uh, from this product of category. Uh, so if you filter from the category RCC, only brings me this, uh, this one. So if I click on them, brings me the, the invoices. Well, this invoice uh, is not like the Python invoice uh, core because it's the localization. <clears throat> Um, also, well, here I'm asking 
by the um, I am sending the, the data here at the URL from the UD. Here is the VAT and then the customer client. But uh, if he, I wanted to be to us uh, inside the Drupal, so I don't have to sell it by URI, uh, I created an inside the Drupal. Uh, if the, I'm logging as Lucio, and my data is something like this, yeah, uh, just sell them, sell to the Drupal side, and ask the, uh, only by those numbers, and I ha don't have to pass it by the URL. If I don't, if you don't understand me, please, you can ask me, it's okay. Uh, I show you some of the code. Well, <clears throat> well, here is only the the part of the authentication uh, with the token and and the user. It's it's uh, using the when it's asked. Uh, the authentication is against Drupal. The username is the Drupal. Uh, here is the method as asked uh, by the by the report. Uh, so it brings the record of the invoice and calls to the invoice report and and give it to the to the Drupal. And here is the, the one that returns all the invoices. We ask uh, by the VAT or can ask uh, VAT and the client number. Uh, here is the, the, the filters that uh, it can, can add, the date or the category, as I said before. And uh, here is uh, when it's going to add append the, from the invoice date, the from and finish, the category, and then search all the invoices about that. <clears throat> and append, append the data and then send it to the, to the Drupal. Just as I said. Another example that I want to show you was uh, the one that is uh, the e-commerce. Well, this is the site Ameba, which is association, and um, well, they say they sell, uh, you know, uh, towels and mattress and well, a chair, something like that. Oh, oops. I'm sorry, but this online is not uh, in my. In my notebook. Please try again. What? I found one line. Wanna start here with it? Yeah. <coughs> no, it's not. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I don't know. Oh. 
Okay. Well, okay. I don't know. Well, again, uh, there is the site and the Drupal. Let me see. No, this is it. Yes. This is the Drupal of the customer. Uh, well, of course. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, the idea was to buy something. I hope. If you buy the towel, add to the system. Yes. Okay. So let me check. We go to the sales. And we can see that we can we have a graph just three sales. If he I add the request. It says that my order has been completed and it's number 63. If I go to the Triton, I hope it prints here. So here it is. And it's showing me the product. So when you go to the ask to the Triton to add a sale. Uh, it creates the product, it creates the entity, and of course it creates the sale all together. If uh, the product is already there, well, you use it. If the entity is already there, it's going to, I think it's going to update some data, update the, the address, for example. <coughs> And um, well, it creates the, the sales in in Drupal, in in Drupal. Here at the order, we can check. And there the number sixty three. It says well, sales in draft. Try on OK. And give you a order has been created by the site. And it says the ID of the sales. If the order has been for something, it doesn't happen because it's not okay, it has a problem. Here it says uh, here is an error of that sale and give you the error that show you why it's not, uh, why it's not created. Uh, that would be the, the example of integrate one of together. So, here, uh, the, the site 
if you have the products, you can match the products inside the side. You don't have to manage the products inside the Triton. It's not an uh, integration, uh, it's just an integration one way, uh, not by Triton to, to Drupal in, in this time. Uh, I think that's all what I have to say. <laughs> I, I hope, uh, I think it's just one of us. Questions? Preguntas? Questions? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you use post on your uh, query, on the request, yeah. to get the invoice <laughs> instead of using get? Ah, uh, yeah, well, first I, I didn't know. <laughs> that, that was my, my, my failure. Maybe. But then, um, I don't know if I can add the category to the, the, the product category when I need to do the, the get, the, the RPC get, you are telling me that, I, I, I think so. The, the, the get that uh, you, you asked me. Yeah. yeah. It's the it's at the beginning, the, yeah. the cure request you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was to fetch the invoices? Yes. And it was a post? Yeah. But well, Somewhere. I can post directly to the Triton. That, that's the, the same. The, the verb of the 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 uh, the, the, met, uh, the, uh, the HTTP methods is a post. Yeah. You see, and yeah. in fact, if you somehow respect the 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 REST API, you have to use GET instead of POST because posting is ah. to create. Oh. new entities ah, ah, and... I understand, yes. Uh, it gives me an error, I, I think, so, when I did the post. Um, not, not that the train invoices, yes, I, I remember. Uh, when I want to create the, bring the report, that brings me an error, because it tries to uh, insert the report cache, so uh, they are. Uh, uh, indeed, it's because by default the Triton transaction mm -hmm. of Flask, they are read only for uh, get and, and yeah. patch. Uh, I think get, uh, but you can on, uh, force it for uh, get to get uh, a non-read only transaction, yeah. and yeah. then you don't. Yeah, yeah. Well, it should work on, on get only. Yes, it's true. Uh, the advantage of get is that they can be cached and stuff like that. When post, they cannot be cached. Okay. Other question? No? Ah, yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> and uh, why do you create draft sale and not confirm them? Because uh, because, no, 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 it's not a bad question. Uh, because the, the customer here at Ameba, they want to be the sales at draft because they want to re review them. And I don't show the, the title implementation, but they, the, the client, the, the entity, how to, uh, has to have the same credit limit. So they want to confirm them and see what happened. That's why it's not confirmed that directly. Uh, uh, how do you manage uh, the payments? The payments. Uh, well, uh, I, oh. <laughs> the <laughs> uh, I'm not using account of payment. Uh, I'm not using account a payment. Account payment. Uh, I'm using my model that I created, uh, something like a called payment collect. That is something uh, similar to to account payment, but it's just smaller. <laughs> and 
the Ameba customer, uh, he well, they uh, want to uh, let me see if I can show you because I But I think I have here the payment collect. It sends it's going to bring me a, a file uh, where the invoices that I created and confirm or yeah confirm invoices. I think I don't have any confirm invoice right now, so that's going to be a problem. Uh, but I we can let me check. Uh, Maybe you can explain it uh, by word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, only it's going to be also uh, bring to you the file that uh, give you some of the, the fields, uh, the invoice ID, the, the, the amount, the customer, the VAT, something like that. And they uh, upload you know, to a FTP uh, that file. Uh, and I don't know if a piece of credit, something like that, and then brings it back if uh, it failed or it's uh, rejected or if it's okay, and with the codex uh, return, uh, then I made the payment uh, from the amount that it says it's okay, and that's uh, how we manage <laughs> the, the payment. I don't know if you understand it. It's similar to account of payment, uh, but it's much, much more smaller. Unfortunately, we ran out of time. Okay. So, yes. but Thank you, Lucio, again. Yes. Okay.